Hey guys, I'm Cody at Urbine Past Life Pro, and to continue with another Cutie Shader tutorial, I'd like to focus on getting you to understand how to mess around with God Rays in the latest public Cutie Shader, this one being the Cuda V6.0.82 Beta Ultra. Anyways, let's jump right into it. First, have the Cutie Shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite1.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, direct your attention to line 20. As you can see, by default, God Rays are kept on, and believe me, we'll keep them on. This is where you go to disable everything to do with God Rays, and this will also include the secondary set of rays that we will be looking at later in this tutorial. To disable the rays, you simply need to replace true with false. Let's move on to editing the visuals of these protruding God Rays. Scroll down to lines 228, 229, and 231. We'll start with line 228. As it reads next to the value, this parameter adjusts the intensity of the God Rays. So as you'd expect, larger numbers create more of an effect compared to smaller numbers. Here, take a look at this comparison. For my personal taste, I'd stick with the original value since in my book, overdoing an effect doesn't make for a natural result. Line 229. So, this parameter allows you to set how clean you want the rays to look. The more samples you add in, the smoother the result. But I know at some point, performance will begin to tank, so do keep that in mind as you play around. I know I was able to get the value up to 100, and that's when things really got crazy. But hey, that's way too many samples. If you want my recommendation, I'd say you'd be best going with 20 samples instead of the usual 10. Here, if there's much difference at all between the visuals, you'll see it in this comparison. Line 231. Now, this parameter is of a different sort. For those that simply aren't a big fan of how pronounced and sharp the rays are in their current form, this value will make them basically fade into pure light. Here, before you make up your mind to mess around here, do take a look at this comparison. For me, I'm already fine with the current setup of rays, so I'm not going to change anything here. Save, and exit. Before we get back into Minecraft, there is one more set of rays to take into account. In contrast to the protruding god rays, these ones instead surround the sun in somewhat an artistic fashion, which is why I've taken to calling them surrounding god rays. But anyways, locate composite.fsh, open it up, find line 24. Similar to the on and off switch found in the composite one at FSH, this one pretty much does the same thing, yet it doesn't disable everything. This one, if set to false, will disable only the surrounding god rays. Do you keep that in mind? Scroll down to line 621. Same as before, larger numbers will make a smoother end result, lower numbers, less so. Since there's not much more to say in this case, I'll just let my comparison play out. For my choice, I'm going with 20 samples. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Kita Shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. 
If this cute shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!